The word virus strikes fear in every orchid grower's heart. I've been lucky because right from the beginning, I did my own things, grew my own seedlings, bought the occasional clones. I almost never received any division from anyone. On the odd occasion that I did, I always isolated them. This is one that didn't work out. Preventing virus is a series of careful vigilance. Regular removal of litter from under the benches is the first step. This is my setup for potting and reporting. I use disposable gloves. I made up a metal tray which can be disinfected easily. This is the detergent that I use for disinfection. Just a bit of elbow grease and a brush. So how do viruses transmit? By pests? Theoretically, the seeds of the weeds are virus-free, so they can't transmit diseases. However, if the weed grows horizontally, like oxalis, it can. Here are some common ways of transmitting viruses. Let's drop the morbid subject and look at some happy plants. Oh, these are the ones that I potted a few months ago. See how much they have grown. Some of this may fall this year. The compost are happy and some black bulb have struck. Let's go and see if there are some spikes. This is the one I showed you earlier. I reckon it's grown an inch. A spike from a seedling in a 5 inch pot. One from a 6 inch pot. This one is a bit skinny. Some other spikes. This one is nice and plump. So is this one. I'll keep you posted as to how they progress in coming months. Spikes have up to end of April to appear. Or even May. Early spiking is bad. This one won't be any good. All but one but drop in this one. This one is struggling to open. Let's look at some flowers from yesteryears. I don't have many pale colors. This is one of them. Nice pink, probably obsolete by now. An interesting splashed polychrome.
This is my favorite splash because of the yellow throat. Another splash. Thank you for viewing. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and share.